What's up guys, it's T here from Teeny Daily, and today we're gonna be making some art. DIY art, you guys, for the foyer, the fancy room that I am decorating right now. Alrighty guys, now we're gonna be getting these skewers from the Dollar Tree. So you just wanna make them all different types of sizes. We're gonna cut here and make some this short, here, here, so like we'll cut this one like that. Don't forget to save these parts because we'll use them for a future project. So we have this one. And now I'm gonna take it up against this skewer. And I want this one to be about this long. Yeah. And I'm gonna take another skewer. Make sure they're there. And this one, we want to make it a shorter one. So I'm going to cut it about right there. And so forth and so on, you guys. You get you get what I mean? So inevitably, we're actually going to line them up at the top that we cut it, right? The area that we cut it. And they're going to go down from the top of the canvas. So you want them to be all different lengths. That's going to give it a cooler vibe, especially when you have them like split up like that look how cool that looks so we're just gonna keep going you guys until we have lots of different sizes like that i'm gonna make some taller too and once you get your sizing you can kind of just eyeball it after that you should have a bunch of skewers that you cut in all different sizes y'all so i'm going in with this spackling tool the cool thing about this project is that there's no wrong there's no wrong way to do this. You just go in and start spackling, creating your own piece of art. And I'm gonna bring it up to like right about here because we're gonna have those skewers that we cut and then paint on the top of the canvas. It's gonna look really cool. All right, so next thing we wanna do is get some painter's tape or whatever tape you have is fine. You guys, so we're rolling out the tape like so. Once you have all of your cut skewers, <laughs> You're going to want to put them on the tape. And it really doesn't matter, you know, the height right now because you're just putting them on this tape so that way you can spray paint them. And they won't fly everywhere. Especially since it's super windy outside right now. All right, it's time to spray paint these things now that they're on the tape. Pay no attention to the board. We were using coffee in another <laughs> project. We're gonna go in with black and gloss from Rust-Oleum. And we're just going to start spraying the sticks. See how helpful it is to have the tape so they don't go anywhere and start rolling around. And you're just gonna wanna make sure they're nice and coated. Oh, that actually looks really cool behind it. <laughs> Ooh, looking good. All right, let's let those dry and head back to the canvases with the spackle. Look, they are dry. Look at how cool they're looking. There's so much texture. I don't even know what this is. I think a buggy got on him, <laughs> but it's okay because we're gonna paint over them anyway. But I'm really loving the, how they came out. Look at the texture. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and spray paint the whole canvas with this white semi-gloss from Rust-Oleum. And that's just to make sure it's the same shade of white, because we're gonna be going in with gold and everything, but this is just gonna give it a nice neutral base. All right, check it out, you guys. <clears throat> this is what it should look like after we paint it. See how it's all one nice cohesive white shade? Look at that. 
Look at how cool it looks. All right, now time for the fun part. First, we're gonna be going in with some Mod Podge. This is my like go-to container. I just carry it everywhere. Look at these beautifuls. Look at these beautifuls. Now you can go in with gold full if you want as well. The whole full sheets. <laughs> foil. <laughs> See, I can say it if I say it really slow. But since I already have these flakes, we're going to go in with these. Brush it on ever so gently because you do not want too much gold. Like I, I want it to be little touches of gold as opposed to thick sheets of gold. So let's just start in this little area right here. I'm going to grab one little one. And just doop, 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 like that. Then I'm going to take a dry brush. Oh, look at how cool that looks. And then push it in with my fingers. See that right there? That's what we want to do all over the canvas. So a lot of little flake spots is going to give it the illusion that there's a lot more gold. give it some contrast we're gonna be going in with this folk art metallic gold paint and what that's gonna do is create two different tones of gold so it's almost like a shadow so I'm, I'm gonna take some on the very tip of my brush like that and do like that push in and then shimmy push in and then shimmy I apologize for my voice, you guys. <clears throat> I'm sick, so it's going in and out. And just boop, boop. It's going to already attach itself to the Mod Podge. I'm going to grab in a couple more pieces. Oop, oop. That's too many. That's too many. <laughs> and then with your brush... All right, you guys, check it out. Yeah, we got a rider in the in the frame. <laughs> Watch out, buddy. Look at look at how beautiful. I am obsessed with how they came out. I love it. Okay, now that this is dry, we're ready to go ahead and put our skewers on. Now we're gonna take our hot glue gun and our Gorilla hot glue sticks in the little mini size. And each skewer is gonna be hot glued to the top of the canvas like this, with the wood side, with the unpainted side down. See what I'm doing here? Ah, it's gonna look so good. So basically you want different sizes. So like, we'll put this one down and then maybe a longer one and then a shorter one, et cetera, et cetera. The glue on the back of the wood, unfinished wood like that. Turn it back over. Line it up with the top of the canvas and the side of the canvas, and then push down and hold it in place for a couple seconds. Look at that. And you want to make sure the pointed side is towards the bottom of the canvas. And now we're just going to alternate sides as you guys. Y'all, we ended up using 66 skewers, which is almost all but two of them. And I cut these ones down to size. So other than these two, we ended up using all of them. So I'm gonna go make some more and then I will do the other one. All right, just so we can make sure that this edge looks all nice. Even though I am gonna be going in with more for right now, I wanna cover this up. So we're gonna be going in with some black. Yeah, this one's been very loved. <laughs> It's black acrylic from Apple Barrel with the uh, gloss finish. And then we're just gonna paint it on. Okay, we have these gem sheets from Dollar General in gold. And I'm going to cut them to be five rows. Let me show you what I mean. Yeah. I want to take them across here 
So let's go ahead and make it a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. I think that'd be good. Or maybe four. Let's see. Just like that. And then we're going to hot glue it across. Ooh, I like that. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do want to make it just four. Because five's kind of thick. Yeah, I think just four. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> now, this has a backing already like this. But I'm also going to put some hot glue. Just... <clears throat> I'm also going to put some hot glue just to make sure it really stays. Just going across like that. And then we're going to stick it right on the edge. The top of the canvas. It gives it a little bit more of an elegance. And also it has a, a topper, you know. Let's put some hot glue down. And then... Stick it on over there. This is actually really sticky by itself, you guys. But still, it doesn't hurt to make sure it has some extra adhesive. Look at that. And I'll fix that gem that just fell off. Woohoo! And this is the finished product, you guys. The cool thing about them is that they work together, but they're not identical. And that's really what I wanted. I wanted two pieces that clearly were in the same family, but weren't identical. And they're gonna look so good on the wall. So just to give you a little sneaky peeky, here's the room we're working on. There's a little bit of the wallpaper. And I'm gonna have one of these going right there and the other one going right there. How good is that gonna look? I love them. They came out so good. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed this tutorial and all of these items you can find at the Dollar Tree. All of these items, you guys. So you can make some beautiful art pieces for a very, very inexpensive cost. All right. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Do something that makes y'all smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day. Bye, guys.